Hello everyone, I'm very happy to uh, present our work titled Self-Supervised Learning for Deep Models in Recommendations. This is a joint work with many researchers and engineers at Google. So if you have questions, feel free to contact us. So the key concept we want to explore is called self-supervised learning. As a self for short, a one version of definition is it's a form of unsupervised learning where the data provides supervision. This has been extensively studied and already shown great success in the computer vision and NLP community, such like the BERT model. To get a flavor of what the SSL is like in computer vision, you can, uh, you can pause and find more details about a task called uh, Image Patch Relative Location Prediction. So a natural question to ask uh, is how will the SSL help recommender apartments? In particular, we are very well motivated by the challenges in recommender systems, such as the code, does, code start problem, where the training and serving distributions of items is highly skewed. The long tail problem, where the fresh items or localized user events are too scarce for training. What excites us is we actually do have a vast amount of unsupervised data. Think about the billions of YouTube videos that we have at hand. If we can leverage this item corpus using SSL, we can learn more generalizable models. So what we propose is a multitask SSL framework for recommender systems. We formulated the overall loss function as a linear combination of the primary supervised loss plus the SSL loss. So we can think of the SSL loss essentially a regularization term. To construct the SSL loss, we propose a self-augmented contrasted learning framework. This consists of two steps. We first apply different data augmentations to the training example to learn different recommendations. Then we use contrasted loss functions so that representations learn for the same training example are close to each other. Representations learned for different training examples are as separate as possible. So I highly recommend you pause the video here and you can refer to the graph for more details. And we studied this in a two-tower model setup, where the query and item to recommend are encoded by a DNN. This is a very powerful architecture widely used at Google. Note, the technology we propose is architecture agnostic. So the first task we propose is called feature masking. In feature masking, the data augmentations we have done is choosing subsets of the item features and only using those features to learn representations. The second task we propose is called feature dropout. In feature dropout, the data augmentation we have done is randomly drop out feature values and learn item representations after the feature dropout. So if you pause here, uh, you can see a more detailed example in the slide. A special case of this is if we have feature dropout rate equal to zero, then this reduces to drop to spread out regularization, which is a very popular regularization technique in large-scale retrieval. So we validate the results in two datasets. The first one is Wikipedia for page-to-page -page prediction. The second one is a Google Play dataset, where the task is to predict installations of an app on app details page. So we mainly compare three baselines. The baseline of using two-tower model only. DO for dropout, that is dropping out features directly on the item side. SO for spread out, which is a special case of feature dropout. We find that the proposed SSL task outperforms three baselines on both datasets. So with increasing of the training data sparsity, we further see the gap of SSL uh, become much larger. So this can be explained that SSL leverages unlabeled data. So with the decrease of the supervised training data, the SSL tasks become more useful. So to summarize, uh, on the MESA side, we propose a multitask framework of incorporating SSL tasks. So the SSL task we propose is from self-augmentation plus contrasted learning. On the results side, the proposed method outperforms several baselines on two datasets, and with increasing training data sparsity, the improvement is even larger.